you're here it's Friday again and I'm gonna vlog my day and also do the second episode of shop my apartment so I'll take you through my bedroom and maybe my ensuite if I get it looking nice and clean and I will show you where I got everything from and how I decided to style it I've already made my coffee as you saw because I got up at 8 so it was kind of late but I just felt really tired and like burnt out so I had a little bit of a sleep in, made my coffee, which I just needed first thing. But on the agenda for today, I'm just gonna go to the shops because I need to get a few more of those colored light globes because I bought yet another lamp. And then I'll come home. I really need to clean up my apartment and change my sheets. So after I do that, I'll do the little room tour. But I hope you enjoy this video and let me know what you're up to on your Friday.
just finished eating. It was so good, but I have such a headache today. So I did just take two Advil and all of my vitamins and I'm just going to try and feel better because I'm going to head off to the shop soon and pick up the light globe for my new lamp, which I'm really excited for because I'm redoing my dining area soon, which just really needs to be revamped. I basically never use that area of my apartment. And so this lamp is going to go in the dining room over the top of the dining table. So I hope it's not too big because it is quite massive, but I just really loved the style of it. So when I get home, I will set that up and I'll show you guys. home now so I'll just show you everything that I bought I did end up buying a pair of pants and a cute little bunch of flowers to replace the ones that I have that are dying and I managed to get the light globes but I also realized that I didn't even check whether they are compatible with the lamp that I got so um and as usual it's so hot outside I was dying how pretty are these I also, of course, got sushi to have for lunch. My eye has been like twitching for the last week. I think it's stress or lack of sleep, but does anyone have any remedies of how you get rid of that? Okay, so those are the globes that I get. They come in a two pack, which is really handy and they're $100 for the two. I thought they were on sale, which is why I actually went today because it's better to stock up on them then, but they're not. Okay, so these are the dish sponges that I use when I just wash up dishes by hand and they're from Dezo. I love these ones so much. They just foam up really easily and they won't scratch your non-stick pots and pans. And then I just got these random little dusting cloths that I haven't tried from Dezo, but they looked pretty cute. And then this scrubbing brush. These are the pants that I got. They're just cord cargo pants from Glassons and I just thought they looked comfy. I'll probably wear them to work. the right globe. Okay, so I've done the first step. Okay, she's quite big, but let's see if it can work. Okay, I love this lamp. It's really big though, but keep in mind, I'm going to get a new dining table and also four new chairs and a rug. So the vibe of this room will be completely different. I'm hoping for something a little bit more bright. I'm gonna introduce some marble tones and hopefully some cream colored seats. And then on the wall, it's looking so blank right now. So I hope to get two larger pieces of art or just some poster prints. And I feel like that will complete everything.
Okay, hi guys, I'm just doing a voiceover now. So I just thought I'd explain where I got everything in my bedroom from and how I decided to style it the way that I did. So if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you'll know that this bedroom styling has been a recent thing. I did like a full bedroom makeover and I'm so obsessed with the way that it turned out. So almost everything in here is from Life Interiors and I really love that brand so much. That was who I collaborated with on this bedroom makeover. However, I did pick all of these pieces myself and I did pay for some of them myself. So not all of it was a part of the collab. So the reason that I really wanted to redo my bedroom was I just felt like it was a little bit dated and it wasn't really my style anymore. I had had the furniture for like seven to 10 years and I feel like I just grew out of it and wanted something a little bit more sophisticated. I also just didn't like that all of my previous bedroom furniture was all matching. I feel like it looks a little bit cheap and all of it was just plain white wooden furniture and it was nice, but maybe not all together. Well, that's just not really my style anymore these days. So the vision that I had for my bedroom makeover was I really wanted to introduce some nice sage green tones and also some different textures. So I want to start out by talking about probably my favorite piece of furniture in my bedroom, which is my bedside tables. I was so in love with these because I knew that I wanted bedside tables that didn't match directly to my bed. And then when I found these ones that had this two-tone marble and wood appearance, I was sold. So one thing to note though about the marble is it is very easily scratched and stained. So you have to be very careful with what you're putting on it and what you're dragging across it. Another thing that I really wanted in a bedside table was I like when they're almost flat to the floor and they have a lot of extra storage with the drawers. So this is exactly what I got with these ones. I love how they're just like a compact cube. And then since I really wanted to just minimize clutter in my bedroom, I just went with a really simple styling on top of the bedsides, which is just this carafe and a marble tray. I obviously can't forget to talk about these stunning lamps. You guys know I'm obsessed with anything that's like a mushroom shaped lamp or candle. And so these ones were just perfect for me. I also loved the color of them and this heavy marble base that they have. So that combination of the lamp and the bedsides was one of the first things that I chose for the bedroom. And once that was done, I just sort of built everything else around it. And one of my main motivations for this bedroom makeover was I really wanted to have a soft bed frame. Since I'm in such a small bedroom in an apartment, my previous bed frame was like a hard wooden bed frame and I would constantly be running into it and bruising my legs, which I know sounds dramatic, but it is really nice to have one of these soft cloud-like beds in a small bedroom. So yeah, it's really been a dream. I love this bed and I know that soft beds and bed heads come with their own issues. Like they're harder to clean and they probably hold more dust in them, but it's honestly worth it for me just to have this beautiful cloud. And then the poster print that I have above my bed, I wanted this specifically because it has the beautiful sage green and kind of blue tones in it. And it was also in an oak frame. So it matched nicely with the bedside tables and my floorboards. I think it's also important when you're putting art or posters up above your bed that you really get the size right in relation to the size bed you have. It can sometimes just look really awkward and in my previous bedroom setup. I had two little square artworks on the wall and I feel like they were just way too small for the space and ended up looking a little bit silly. I also love that this current print that I have is like this vintage Palm Springs vibe and it's kind of tying into that mid-century modern style that I have little bits of around my apartment. So another thing that I loved about this apartment was the fact that there's floorboards throughout instead of carpet and then I can just choose to put my own soft rugs in each room. So the rug that I have in here is from Freedom and I bought it probably like three years ago so I'm not sure if they still have the exact same one but there's so many neutral rug options out there and I'll link a few in the description. The rug in this bedroom is also something that I'm hoping to upgrade someday soon. There is nothing wrong with it at all, but I feel like I just want more of like a shaggy, cozy vibe in the bedroom. So moving on to the other side of the bedroom, this area is still sort of a work in progress, but I am so obsessed with this mirror that I have here. I've honestly wanted a mirror of this design for probably the last five years, but they are quite expensive. So I was always saving up to buy it and also just trying to find the right space to put it because it's very big. And although I don't have heaps of room in this small bedroom, bedroom, I feel like it kind of works because it obviously opens up the space, which is definitely what I need. And then in front of this industrial style mirror, I have this beautiful brass floor lamp that has a marble base. And I know you might think this is a little bit of a weird position to put this lamp, but I really just love the way that it reflects in the mirror and onto the wall. And it looks like a nice sunset. Also, I should mention that all of the lamps in my bedroom have the RGB globes. And that means I can 
and change the color to whatever I want. Also, I forgot to talk about one of my favorite things to change up in here, which is the bedding. So I used to work at Adairs, which is a bedding store in Australia. And that's what sort of sparked my obsession with this. So I love mixing and matching the pillowcases with the quilt cover and everything else. And I'll often choose patterns and designs that have pink tones in them because I love how this complements the green lamps and the print and all of the other tones in my bedroom. I'll link in the description where I get most of my bedding from because it's really a mix of so many different places. I feel like this is a non-committal way to really be creative in your bedroom and you're not like changing big pieces of furniture, but you can switch up pillowcases and cushions and things like that and get a completely different vibe. And now I'll quickly move on to my bathroom and just talk through the little things that I have in here. I feel like my bathroom can get really out of control with all of my skincare and hair care and makeup. So I try and keep this area quite minimal. This is where I stand to do my morning and evening routines. And I have all of my beauty products in the drawers and in the big cabinet. So surprise, surprise, one of my favorite things to put in my bathroom is a lamp because having the overhead lights on is just so harsh sometimes. And if you just want to have some nice ambient lighting, I always put a lamp if I can fit it. So the lamp that I currently have in here is a rechargeable one and you just touch it on and off. It is cute, but I probably want something that emits a little bit more light and also doesn't die after like an hour or two. And then next to the lamp, I usually just have all of my face washes rolled up. These ones are from Country Road and I just like how they're easily accessible here. The hand soap that I currently have in here is the Aesop one and it smells really nice. I like the feel of it on my hands, but it's probably not my favorite one of all time. And then when I open up the drawers, this is where I keep all of my everyday makeup and just things that I need to grab quickly. The organizers are from Amazon. They're not like perfectly optimized in this drawer, but I feel like it's okay. It fits everything pretty well. And I just like these ones because they're easy to clean. So then over on this shelf up here, I have this cute little green vase from H&M Home. And then I've just got these dried flowers in it. And next to that, I have the Diptyque Room Spray, which I'm so obsessed with the smell of this one. It honestly lingers in my apartment for days. And the bottle is just so fancy and beautiful. And the two bath towels that I have in here are actually bath sheets and they're from Adairs. Honestly, if you haven't tried bath sheets, they're just like that much bigger than bath towels and you can just wrap it around your body really cozy and I love them so much. So that's it for my bedroom and ensuite. I hope you guys found this helpful and let me know in the comments if there's anything that I've missed and you really wanna know about. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed everything because I loved bringing you along and let me know if you have any questions about any of my bedroom or bathroom decor. Also, let me know what you're up to this weekend. I'm just having a pretty chill one as usual. So I might go out for some drinks and some food and just stay inside out of the heat. I love you all. Thank you for watching.